If you know where to look and your eyes are strong enough, you might be able to see Uranus without a telescope. It's not very bright and barely large enough, but it does sometimes appear in our night sky. Sir William Herschel announced his discovery on 13 March 1781, expanding the known boundaries of the solar system for the first time in history. Uranus took shape when the rest of the solar system formed about 4.5 billion years ago, when gravity pulled swirling gas and dust in to become this ice giant. The seventh planet from the Sun, Uranus is one of four gas giants. It's the third largest planet in the solar system. It possesses nearly 63 times the volume of planet Earth. This means 63 Earths would fit inside Uranus if it were hollow. It is 14.5 times as massive as Earth and has 16 times its surface area. Uranus is the most strange planet of the solar system and you're about to find out why. Just don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the little notification bell so you won't miss any of the interesting videos coming out on Googleplex. Uranus is very different from Earth. It's a gas giant, meaning its surface is gas, so you couldn't even stand on it. Uranus cannot support life as we know it. As the planets in our solar system get further away from the Sun, they generally get colder. So, Neptune should be the coldest one, but actually Uranus is the coldest planet in the solar system with minimum atmospheric temperature of minus 224 degrees Celsius, Uranus is nearly the coldest planet in the solar system. On the planet Earth, we enjoy rain in the form of liquid water. Sometimes it might rain strange red organisms or even fish, but for the most part, the rain on Earth is harmless. On Titan, it rains methane. Venus has acid rain that evaporates before it reaches the ground. But on Uranus, it rains diamonds, solid diamonds. One of the things that stands out most for Uranus is its green-blue appearance. But it's not blue because of surface water. Uranus is blue because of methane gas in its atmosphere. Methane gas is known to absorb red light and strongly reflect blue. It's mostly ice in the mantle, water, methane and ammonium. As an ice giant, Uranus doesn't have a true surface. The planet is mostly swirling fluids. The atmosphere of Uranus is 83% hydrogen, 15% helium, and 2% methane. The planet is encircled by an icy cloud layer that moves about the planet at over 185 miles per hour. It's comprised of this gaseous atmosphere, an icy mantle, and a small rocky core. The composition of Uranus and Neptune is substantially different from the other gas planets, Jupiter and Saturn, prompting some scientists to refer to them as ice giants. While a spacecraft would have nowhere to land on Uranus, it wouldn't be able to fly through its atmosphere unscathed either. The extreme pressures and temperatures would destroy a metal spacecraft. Out of all the planets in our solar system, the most unusual tilt goes to Uranus. This is because it's tilted at 98 degrees. For comparison, Earth's axis tilts at about 23.5 degrees. This unique tilt makes Uranus appear to spin on its side, orbiting the Sun like a rolling ball. Because of its unusual axial tilt in the direction of its orbit, Uranus experiences extreme seasonal variation. Its poles receive more energy from the Sun than do its equatorial regions. For nearly a quarter of each Uranian year, the Sun shines directly over each pole, plunging the other half of the planet into a 21-year-long dark winter. One day on Uranus takes about 17 hours, the time it takes for Uranus to rotate or spin once. And Uranus makes a complete orbit around the Sun in about 84 Earth years. Why is Uranus's orbit so wonky? Scientists suspect that millions of years ago, Uranus was involved in an enormous collision. Unfortunately, no one reported it to the Solar System Police, so we have no official record of it. 
but that might be why Uranus isn't quite upright. It's also one of just two planets that rotate in the opposite direction than most of the planets. Venus is the other one, from east to west. Gravitational force on Uranus is 91% the gravitational force on Earth. A 100-pound Earthling would weigh about 91 pounds on Uranus. It has an unusual irregularly shaped magnetosphere. Unlike Earth's magnetic field, which emerges from one pole and enters another, Uranus's magnetic pole is not a pole-pole orientation. For reasons unknown, the magnetic lines emerge 59 degrees away from one pole. The result? The sort of consistent shielding Earth gets from the brutal solar wind is totally absent above Uranus. As the planet rotates, the magnetic field is always changing orientation. Earth is protected from the solar wind in somewhat consistent ways. But on Uranus, sometimes the solar wind is deflected and sometimes it just strikes the planet directly, causing auroras far away from the poles. Uranus has 27 known moons, 13 inner moons, 5 major moons, and 9 irregular moons. The moons of Uranus are named after the characters of William Shakespeare and Alexander Pope. Some of them are half made of ice. These include Oberon, Titania, and Miranda. All are frozen worlds with dark surfaces. Some are ice and rock mixtures. The most interesting Uranian moon is Miranda. It has ice canyons, terraces, and other strange-looking surface areas. The largest moon of Uranus is Titania, which measures over 900 miles in diameter and orbits Uranus from a distance of about 240,000 miles. It is the eighth largest moon in the solar system, though it is only about 5% as massive as Earth's moon. We're all familiar with the beautiful rings around Saturn, but did you know that Uranus has rings too? The rings of Uranus are very dark and thin. There are currently 13 known rings, which are comprised primarily of small particles which may be the remnants of a shattered moon. The only spacecraft to ever visit Uranus is the Voyager 2 probe. It was launched on August 20, 1977 and reached Uranus on January 24, 1986. It was the first and so far the only mission to get an up-close view of Uranus and what the probe saw was at first glance dull. Voyager 2 observed little atmospheric activity and a few cloud formations. For a moment, it seemed the icy clouds held little interest, but it's been 30 years since the Voyager flyby and we're wiser now. Astronomers have considered sending an orbiter to Uranus, but there are complications. Until then, we can only gaze at the planet across 2 billion miles of space, guessing at its secrets. The best questions in science are the unanswered ones, and the best planet in the solar system is seventh from the sun, shrouded in methane and in mystery. Feel free to ask your scientific questions in the comments below. We'll answer them in the next videos. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe to Googleplex.